So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an updated method on how you can get your core badges really, really fast here in NBA 2K23. As far as I know, this method did not work before, at least when I was playing these private parks. But um, as of recently, it just started working. I don't know if something changed or whatever. But basically, the method we're going to be using is we're going to be utilizing the private parks. Now, if you already have all the My Career Story done, you just need to find one of these weekly challenges or just try and walk up to the one of these courts, you know, the Moss Point the J. Cole Court, um, I think the Hammond Park's another one. You know, those four private parks that you play in my career. And basically, I'm just showing you right here, Claymore and Limitless Range are the two badges we're gonna be focusing on. I'm gonna show you guys that this does actually work. So basically, if you're done with my career already, you need to find one of these weekly challenges or just try and, you know, hop on those parks and just play them. Now, if you're somehow not done with the my career story at this point, and you wanna try and do this method to get your core badges, all you have to do is find one of these quests again to get on one of these private courts and but instead of winning the game like i do in this video you want to go ahead and lose every single game because if you win you only have a limited number of games you can play and if you do the close app method where you close app after you win uh, as far as i know that does not work you could try it out if you want to you know on the j cole core method everyone knows about that at this point you know to get their badges and stuff like that if you don't I have a link down below in the description if you want to check that out but basically like i said if you're not done with the my career story you only have a limited number of games to play on these courts then you want to go ahead and lose every single game because as far as i know like i said if you win the game and then you close app that does not count towards your core progress that's what i've been told i haven't personally tried it so if you want to go ahead and try that be my guest and let me know down below in the comments if that does work but you'll see here we're finishing up this first game i just wanted to fast forward through it with no cuts to make sure you guys know that i'm not trying to trick you anything this method does in fact work and honestly for like limitless range i was getting core progress really really fast which for a badge like limitless range which is kind of hard to get if you're just playing in like rec games or regular park games it's really really slow now you see in the left here is where i started on the right is where i ended after just one game for claymore i started on the r and core and ended a little bit past the e so i got some decent progress on claymore and then for limitless range it's where i got the real progress you see i started here on the a in challenge and then i ended on almost past the second l in challenge so i got a really good amount of progress uh for limitless range after just one game and you'll see after this second game i get even more progress for limitless range which is obviously huge for a player like me who has hall of fame limitless range and it's kind of hard to get online so doing this method i think i'll be able to get it really really quickly so again just to go over the method one more time if you're still watching and you're a little bit confused basically what we're doing is we're just using these private parks find a way to get consistent games on one of these private parks if you don't know where they are just go on your map and you should be able to find one of the four private parks again if you finish the my career story you should have no issue playing on these courts and just winning over and over again the specific challenge i got the ricky stat challenge x was really good because i didn't have to do any of the parts of the challenge so i can just play on this court over and over again and get a lot of core progress and if you're still not done with the my career story just do one of those quests where you get like five games on one private park and then just lose every single game. And then you guys will be getting a ton of core progress. You see, we're already on the C and challenge for Claymore. And then for Limitless Range, you see where we started. We started in the H of challenge and we're almost all the way at the end already after just two games of doing this method. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead, leave a like down below, subscribe to my channel if you're new. I really, really appreciate it. And this helped you out. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. And I'll help you guys out. But that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.